To those who have rushed to judgment, you have done so based on a limited set of facts framed by the prosecution to be as salacious as possible. What you see here are three kilograms of gold. These three kilograms together are worth approximately $150,000. Remember, prosecutors get it wrong sometimes. Sadly, I know that. Pressure is building on both sides of the aisle for New Jersey Senator Robert Menendez to step down. The charges levied against him are serious, and if proven true, they represent a grave violation of the public trust. Senator Menendez needs to decide in consultation with his constituents in New Jersey whether he can continue to serve ably while under this really significant cloud. It was on September 22nd that prosecutors unveiled the 39-page federal indictment. Today I'm announcing that my office has obtained a three-count indictment charging Senator Robert Menendez, his wife Nadine Menendez, and three New Jersey businessmen, while Hannah, Jose Uribe, and Fred Davies for bribery offenses. That same day, Mr. Menendez stepped down as chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said his colleague's decision stands until the matter has been resolved. This isn't the first time Mr. Menendez has been in this position. We are breaking news right now here on CNN. We have just learned the Justice Department is preparing to bring charges against New Jersey Senator Robert Menendez. Now, they would be criminal charges of corruption. Six years ago, Mr. Menendez narrowly escaped a bribery conviction, so it's hard to imagine he'd tempt fate again. Back then, the New Jersey senator was accused of accepting bribes from a Florida eye doctor. He was cleared in a mistrial. This new three-count indictment alleges conspiracy to commit bribery, honest services fraud, and extortion. The indictment alleges that between 2018 and 2022, Senator Menendez and his wife Nadine Menendez engaged in a corrupt relationship with Hannah, Uribe, and Davies. The indictment alleges that through that relationship, the senator and his wife accepted hundreds of thousands of dollars of bribes in exchange for Senator Menendez using his power and influence to protect and to enrich those businessmen and to benefit the government of Egypt. The indictment says Mr. Menendez, in his position as the top Democrat on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, urged his colleagues to support military aid to Egypt. In return, Egyptian officials allegedly granted his wife's friend, Wal Hanna, an exclusive monopoly on certification of halal-compliant U.S. food exports to Egypt. It's alleged Mr. Hanna then funneled money to Mr. Menendez and his wife, whose residence and safe deposit box were searched by the FBI. They discovered approximately $500,000 of cash stuffed into envelopes and closets. Some of the cash was stuffed in the senator's jacket pockets. And some of the cash, some of the envelopes of cash, contained Davies' fingerprints or Davies' DNA. Prosecutors also allege that Mr. Menendez pressed U.S. and New Jersey prosecutors to go easy on business associates of Mr. Hanna in return for gold, cash, and a Mercedes-Benz. This is the Mercedes-Benz that we allege that Uribe provided as part of the scheme. And of course, here you can see just a fraction of the cash that was uncovered as part of the scheme. Prosecutors have struck out in recent public corruption cases, and every defendant is innocent until proven guilty. Nevertheless, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy is urging Mr. Menendez to resign, and his Republican predecessor agrees that things don't look good. It is going to be very difficult, it seems to me, for a United States Senator to explain why he's got $480,000 in cash stuffed in jackets in his home. Voters can render their own judgment next November when Mr. Menendez is up for re-election. I firmly believe that when all the facts are presented, not only will I be exonerated, but I still will be the New Jersey's senior senator.